My dreams came true. What? Broke down Subaru? Broke down Subaru. <laughs> Alright, guys, so it's been a bit, um, I don't know, months or so. Years! Years! We haven't uh, done, well, I, no, Luke hasn't done anything. Not true! Just now. He looks like he's working, but uh, I've done the uh, rear diff seals, both sides, and uh, replaced this light bulb. Okay, that's what I've done. So today, remember, we have this issue. Didn't you overwork yourself? Yes, I did. Especially on the light bulb, that was very difficult. Remember uh, what Lucas done uh, during the ice racing event? I think it was number two. Yeah, everything is Lucas. No, not true. That's just the fact. So we gotta fix this, and we gotta fix this to get through the inspection, which we need to do uh, to get this thing registered. For those that uh, don't have no, no idea, this car came, came for an auction. It was um, after an accident. We got a new hood, fend well, a new, new to us. <laughs> uh, lower control arms, uh, suspension, bumper, light. Everything is um, you know new to this car and then right after replacing the bumper well it did last for one event you know I gotta say that but uh, second event mm -mm. so we gotta get this done and we got some fiberglass all right we got uh, this is Amazon stuff by the way fiberglass resin stage 2 bundle thing and uh, fiberglass mat the actual cloth or whatever you call this thing this is some uh, hardener I suppose yeah liquid hardener and a uh, this so it's a it's a kit I forgot what I paid for it 30 or 40 bucks work like a pro which we are I just realized they're, they're both all sixes and same color Ignore the blue fender, but the color codes actually match. This is another uh, buddy of ours. He's going to take this thing to uh, rally cross slash, you know, ice racing, autocross and whatnot. And uh, the engine is actually right here, but uh, you can follow the other series, I guess, on me resealing the engine, head gaskets and valve covers, all that stuff. So this is basically waiting on some paint and for me to throw the engine back in but that's uh, some other time so the plan with this thing is to remove the bumper and somehow attach this broken piece to where it's supposed to go and fiberglass it actually i want to show you something guys this is what happens when you don't have enough negative camber you see the tire right in this area we need some negative camber. See over here especially. Same thing on the other side obviously and a little bit less in the rear. So we're gonna rotate these tires and uh, basically do the same to uh, these. Oh! guys so uh, basically what we what you saw us do is kind of make it more well put it back together make it more of a head job yeah so uh, we got a name for this project it's the effort project so yeah so you know whatever in a second Lucas is now pre-cutting the fabric I guess so it, this, this has to be quick. I mean, we went through the directions. Lucas did. So if anything goes wrong, that's his fault. It's gonna fall on my shoulder. Yep. So uh, red through 
these so we're gonna first apply the fiberglass on the inside what's this that's already oh that's the cut pieces okay the, the fiber so you know this needs to be i should mention we've never done this before keep that in mind so if you're trying to learn something don't go find a, a different video on uh, how to do fiberglass the reason for this is for the tape and these uh rivets here and this kind of it's not this is not plastic this is a very thin uh sheet metal. sheet metal so just so the bumper stays in place you know when we're moving around and whatnot so it, it kind of you know resembles the factory bumper when we're done uh, no reinforcement just this one piece that's it because this actually broke or i'm sorry lucas actually broke it in a kind of nice way you know no pieces came out flying uh, which is not the case on this side because you know obviously we have miss missing pieces actually you know maybe next year we should go look for those pieces actually you should yeah, have right. you should have gone out what, maybe and walked year, the track maybe, maybe this year where are they gonna be under the water you want to with the for, fishes with, we want me to dig for you with, with the fishes now by now I just realized you know so many bumpers uh, are on the bottom of that lake okay so let me show you what it looks like from the other side it's like million dollars okay <laughs> oh shit i'm sorry man okay so this you know ignore that once we're i don't know what we're gonna do actually i have no idea at this point well we... lucas is the, the lead man on this project you're gonna fire this on, on this f f project uh, but yeah i know but how you know what about this 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 space over here i know we'll just shove some cardboard inside you know what i mean because it's going to be whole hard on the out on the inside i thought you so got, we just you shove got, something in there I, th I thought you got you, you got it covered well you you, you thought wrong i mean you know we just put a fiberglass more fiberglass and that's it over we'll, it yeah we'll but we need to fill it we'll fill it with fiberglass one layer inside? second layer here one layer second layer third layer till no we... i'm saying we need to fit something inside there there's i mean we got you know quite a, quite the space inside there so maybe some cardboard or clay or clay whatever we'll see yeah play-doh play-doh it's play-doh around the edges yeah here. we got we got plenty of that yeah. <laughs> and there's this yeah this is this is this is going to be the easy side if that side is going to be more complicated than this one nah so but before we do yeah well i should say that once this the inside is reinforced with fiber, fiberglass pretty much done then we're most likely just going to grind this off because we still need to rough it up so what what are we doing are we going to stick it on the tape what the fiberglass yeah but we need to rough it up it's too smooth what do the instructions say 80 grid okay I'm, i guess i'm gonna have to uh, rough it up give me high should, should we put a mask on i think we should i don't know maybe i think we should get some bags and uh make it worth our while <laughs> not not all will get this joke <laughs> get some baggies no? baggies all right so four how many tablespoons six that's it that's two or one yeah that's one tablespoon that was one i think i see flying elephant hold on how, how many it was four five okay are you counting you're the one putting that in and you're not counting Okay, guys, so this is uh, 220, not 80. They said 80, but uh, still got to wipe it off. Uh, that's what that, that's almost ready. Let's do this. What? The brush? Brush. Just, you know, whenever you do something that's time pressing, make sure you're not ready at all. I think it's, it's fine, man. Oh, you like to get, you like to sniff it, huh? Oh, so you're, you're taking your time? Oh, pff, man. It smells really nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Put it behind you on the, on the wood. Which one goes first? I'm busy recording. Ah, 
now I remember those YouTube videos. I think it's not gonna be enough. We need a, a whole cup, huh? We need much more. Like this, keep okay. it moist and... Uh, keep it moist, huh? Keep it moist. And then, let me cut this. Other way, no go. Where are you going? This way. This way. All right, I guess I'm gonna continue off camera because we need to hurry up. We got uh, limited time and, and you know drying time. Next day, guys, the bumper on, bumper on the inside is all dry. We're gonna have to look at it, you know, with squinted eyes. So right now Lucas is roughing up the outside uh, part of the bumper, obviously. And so when he's done, we're going to flip it over and I'm going to show you what we have done, what was done yesterday pretty much and what it looks like now. Yeah. Man, he just jumped. Huh? You think he jumped? Yeah, he jumped. Where are you? Man, he's trying to... Attack me, man! Look. <laughs> look, he's he's trying to attack the camera. Look, look, look! Man, too bad this camera. Sucks at, at sucks at zoom up. Look, he's <laughs> aggressive little bastard. All right, so this is the inside. So this white circle is actually us drilling. This is what we actually forgot to drill holes. So the resin goes through and just makes a stronger bond but uh, as we drilled from the that side because obviously you can't drill from this side because this is in the way this actually came off the bumper this fiberglass this is not this is still together it's just more layers on this no no the, the metal sheet metal that's behind that that's why it's a different color but yeah that's what it looks like it's, I, I mean, mean, because we might not use the acetone, just the maybe. Yeah, we had a uh, paint stripper before, we actually bought some acetone today, so we're gonna try and do this more properly. But uh, that's what it looks like now. It's actually not too bad now, it is pretty hard. If we would to paint it and not hit anything, any cones, this would pass. So, we're gonna do the outside now. So, this is all scuffed up with 100 grid this time. And we got all the holes all over. Probably gonna do maybe two layers on the outside here and go wide, you know, right where it's all scuffed up.
I know. But it is what it is. Luke is gonna break that again anyway, so what's the point? Now, we gave it some time to dry up. Uh, I think two months is enough? No, I think a little bit more time. A little bit more time? Yeah. All right, we'll be back in two months. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, so as you remember, we did the uh, this side. Here, let's, let's show the, the, the people that F up work. The, yeah. You know, it, it'll be fine. I don't know if you can see this, but there's bubbles, you know, Oh, we'll everywhere. Just paint, paint it over. It yeah, we'll just uh, send it down and paint over it. And we're, you know, we're not not really doing it, uh, doing a good job at it. Well, because, because we're doing he's it. He's gonna break it again. No, I was gonna say he's gonna break it again. He did it the first time. He's gonna do it a second time. It's questionable. I'm sure of it. We can make a bet right now. Who's gonna break it first? No, it was last time. Who broke it? I have it on video, man. You broke it. No. No way. Remember, I'm I'm doing the editing, okay? Oh, okay, right yeah, right, right. I'm sure. Anyway, so today we're gonna continue. We're actually gonna use Play-Doh yeah, we... to fill in these gaps over here. This is we got some pretty pretty serious gapage over here. And remember, we gotta paint it the color of the car so the car so the car can pass inspection. Everything, the hood, the bumper, the doors, the fenders need to be all the whole car needs to be the same color, basically. And we're gonna we're gonna spray paint it. Uh, or I'm gonna give it to a professional and pay, you know, who knows how much. Okay, I thought we were gonna use a roller and a brush. We'll, we'll just, yeah, just, just, just dump, it, dump it and dump, yeah. <laughs> so we need to kind of, you know, pass through the inspection and then once it does, once it's registered, we can do whatever the hell we want with it. And we will, trust me. We got some serious plans, but we don't have time. Not that stage. Time is, is the issue. Anyway, so let's get to it. You got more there. Oh. Hey, watch my well, new watch tire, my car. New, new tires. That was easy. That took literally five minutes. So we're not sure if the fiberglass is going to stick to this tape. Probably not. We have that sticky aluminum tape on both sides. We're gonna lightly sand the plastic because we're gonna go over, remember, like we did there on the other side. I'm gonna try and do the same amount of overage on this on the on this side. We're not gonna bother with the holes we drilled before. Forget that. It's extra work. And then we're thinking, throw me the can of the adhesive. We're going to spray before we apply the fiberglass with this stuff here. You're going you're gonna to get a lot of comments saying we, yeah. are, we are stupid. So comment, whatever. We're doing it anyways. We don't know if it's going to work or not. But uh, we can hope. We can only hope. This should be good, huh? Maybe? A little more? That's good. Start sticking. Is it sticking? Guys, one tip, well, a few obvious ones, like, you know, use gloves, don't do this inside, do it outside. Don't do it at all. Unless you want to get high, don't do it inside. And when you're done, because everything's going to go to garbage, the cups, the, the brushes, it's, you know, it gets hard.
quick. <laughs> and hot. You know what I'm saying? And it gets hot. Like this cup right now, the bottom of it is hot. It is? Yeah. Not not like, you know, it, it's warm, but it, it's gonna get hot in, in, in about 15, well, maybe less, five, 10 minutes. So don't throw it in your uh, garbage can, you know, cause it may catch fire. So leave it outside, you know, put it on, on metal. All right, let's, let's see what, what this looks like. So we're still, should we do this too today? Well, actually it may be difficult with, I don't know. Cause man, that's the inside of the other side. Ah, just. Whoa. This thing, this thing right. crack maybe, this maybe it still needs some more dry. <laughs> oh man, this is bad. Oh, we got stickers. Made in Taiwan. This is not original. STI. No, it is not Dude. What? You, you, you said this is an original STI bumper. No, I never said that. It is an STI one. Oh, STI like. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Are we doing this or no? Or just spray it? Right. Let's just spray it. No, you're not spraying anything. You, you know what I'm afraid? This. Because there's that, that Play-Doh thing. Yeah, what about we'll, it? We'll start pushing on it and... Well, you know, it's going to be two months before you, you, you know, we're going to come back here and we're going to do something else, so I'm sure it's going to dry. Yeah, but it's going to mess up this part. It's not... Oh, if we keep uh, poking it? So maybe just give it a couple minutes to dry? Or a couple months? A couple months. I'm... Or a couple months. Okay. Months, minutes. I don't know, maybe it'll never break. Maybe it's going to be like a plow. It's gonna, we're making it so strong. That it's gonna be like a plow, and we're just gonna, you know, break ice apart. Yeah. So look here. He's been working on this. What do you call it? Crash bar? I don't know if I don't know if I threw that in, but we are working on this roll bar in the front of the bumper. It's uh, it's gonna be nice. You didn't do any videos? About it, I, I think do so. have. Well, never mind. I mean, I don't know as of now if I. Never mind. But uh, it's been what half a year now. The season is five. Over. We don't need that now. Five months. Jeez, man, you gotta, you know, you gotta step it up a bit, man. Step it up a notch. Luke is doing something he's not supposed to. Mm. You want some? No, no thanks. I said, you know, I kept saying no, no, no. Just leave it. Leave that, man. Just get the goo, the dough, the play dough. It's already dry, guys. You know, not not fully, I'm sure, but uh, what I'm trying to say is, it doesn't need two months to dry. <laughs> you sure about that? Mm-hmm. What does the label say, anyways? What label? Fifteen minutes on the on the hardener. Eight to twelve minutes working. Yeah. Working. Eight to twelve minutes. Yeah, so Lucas uh, adding more work as as usual. No, not really. Yes, we were, we were ready to mix another batch and start putting on the fiberglass, man. And now we gotta drill holes. All right, we're not taking this out, man. This this is gonna take a long time to break these. Spring grinder. No, man. No, hell no. 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 Uh, Show me to wipe it off. Oh man, I'm getting, what? I'm getting something. <laughs> no, just, man, seriously. Oh, you got through the the fiber the glass? Yeah, fiber the glass. You're gonna break it again. You're gonna be doing it again. Maybe don't be pessimistic. That's being realistic with you around. Well, that's the other side of the fiberglass. Yeah, no. Wow. That was my plan. That's your plan, huh? Or was your plan? Yeah, it was my plan. Why didn't you say so before you started doing this? I told you that we can we can get to that. I, I think you just thought of it just now. No. And you called the called it your plan.
Well, try these. Still so much dust, man. I love that the fiberglass stays in the air for, for minutes, even outside. For months? Man, we'd be done with this, man. But oh. now I gotta take the Play-Doh out. Yeah, you you got it. So so this is gonna be super strong and it's gonna you know not break and whatever. And what about this side? Oh, it's gonna be even stronger. Right. Come on. Not so easy, huh? Not really. Well, yeah, just will take five minutes. Roll it. Grab it and roll it. No, from the from the end. Yeah. What? Uh, other way, other way. Roll it like you would open a can. You know what I mean? Like this way? Yeah, and keep rolling it. There you go. Okay, I got that one. Yeah, grab it and roll it. Just no, don't cut. cut. Just cut it. Man. Grab it and roll it? Grab it and roll it. Hold on, because... It's... Well, you now, you're breaking. now you're breaking, you know? That, that stuff, that, that it's not, not sticking. I told you. We know. Because, because you took the dough, Play-Doh out. No. Where is it? Your tape. Metallic tape. My my tape, huh? Now it's my tape. Oh, come on. Get this guy out. Clean the plate off. Your stuff is sticking. Oh, see? See? That worked. The, the adhesive is, is working. No? Huh? Not gonna work? No. Not that much. No. Work! Leave it. My, my patio is moving. You might need it for these guys. You wanna do this one too? Man, you know what? We could have been drinking beer by now. We can, we We'd be done. This would be we drying. Can drink, we can drink beer regardless. Right. Well, now, what's the problem with that? I don't know. You. You. You recording using that using that? That's a one one uh, one man job. What recording? No, that too. But <laughs> whatever you're doing. I I'll, I'll try if I can manage. Them. You might be in luck, man. You might be in luck. Oh, well, can't reach it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest tool we got to do that. <laughs> That's why I can reach it. So that's it, huh? Small no, energy. leave, no. Jesus Christ. That small one, is it gonna fit in there? The small grinder? The air one? No, it's not. I, I don't believe you. Fuck. <laughs> can't get a bigger wheel. You can't just undo this and get a bigger wheel, no? All right, guys. So this is this is it. We almost removed all the the backing. We did uh, well because parts of this bumper were missing. So we kind of had to install these uh, pieces of uh, sheet metal and rivets. And uh, yeah, so now look as well. I guess you did a good job, man. So uh, what? See you in so couple, so, so see now, you, see you in couple months. Yeah, about about maybe we'll we'll maybe we'll do four months this time. Four, four months, okay. All right now now you get a beer. Uh, any any tips for the for the viewers? So you know, mask, gloves, obviously. Um, if you want to get a high, don't wear a mask. Do it do it inside. You know, the keep mask the you keep the get. cup here. Work the bubbles out. You know the best you can. Uh, the, the only thing we didn't do is rollers. So we should. Oh yeah, we, we should get a roller next time and roll those bubbles out. Some, as you can see here, there's a bubble already. Not with your finger, man. It's still wet. Don't do what he was about to do. Yeah, there's a bubble. Just leave it. Just keep it pressed. Okay, well then you can stay here and keep it pressed. I'm gonna go have some beers. Uh, next stop is prob well, you know, Robert's gonna send it and paint it. <laughs> you wish. No, 
next time when we're ready to paint it that's when the next episode is going to be most likely thanks for watching guys remember to subscribe or not like or not whatever comment or not see you next time